Bad Devils, I'm Liberty Cox and here's this week's episode of RDTV. This past Tuesday was softball signing day. We had five participants, Libby Miles, Ellison Laney, Aaliyah Clarity, Fallon Jordan, and McKinnon Howard. Congratulations Red Devils. Now on to sports. What's up Red Devils, I'm Ali Parrish and here's your sports update for the week. Wrestling came out victorious in their matches against Wetumpka. Boys and girls basketball both won against Dothan. Boys winning 59 to 50 and girls winning 65 to 38. Congratulations to all our Red Devil sports. Here's your CTE Annex update. Um, well, the, the benefit of the new building mainly is going to be the technology that's going to be a part of it. Um, there's a lot of new, uh, not only the building itself, but there's a lot of new equipment that's going in there. The healthcare um, program. Uh, comes to mind. There's going to be a lot of state-of-the-art equipment, including a programmable mannequin that the students can learn from, a uh, hospital ward, um, our Z-Space computers will be updated, um, and it, engineering will finally have a place for its robotics arena. Um, it's just the, the technology that comes along with the move to the new building is going to be, um, it's going to be really beneficial for our students. Yeah, so, so really on, on either side of the new Career Tech Annex, there is what uh, the, the soccer field. Um, it's the old football practice field. It's been there for years with a track around it. They've resurfaced it. It's now, it's now turf. They've got markings on it for both football and soccer. Um, they've updated the scoreboard there. There's some cleanup plan to the bleacher area, and we're going to start hosting our uh, home soccer matches from that field up there cool thing about it is RDTV will have a chance to do some live broadcasts of soccer matches from the new building. You have a great view of it um, from top of the new building, so hopefully we'll be able to safely uh, go up there and, um, and broadcast from uh, the new building. Now on to 60 seconds of staff. Hey guys, I'm Elijah DuBose, and today I'm here with... Mr. Bradley. All right, let's go right into the questions. Um, so what is your favorite thing about Baker? My favorite thing about Baker? Okay, that, that's, a, that's, that's a good answer. Now, our next question. What's the hardest thing you've accomplished in your Baker career? I mean, I'm here teaching. All right, and here's another question. So how does band now compare to band when you were in high school? Like here at Central High School? Yes. what a few students have to say about Christmas break. Hi, my name is Mallory Parrish and I'm going to be interviewing Emma Wilson and Miss Sasser about their plans over Christmas break. So Emma, where all did you go over the break? I went to Michigan. Do you go to Michigan often? I go in the summer and during Christmas. So are you used to the cold since you live in the south or is it a shock to you every year? Um, it usually takes me like a few days or so to get used to it. Do you have something you always do once you're in Michigan? I usually visit my friends and family that I don't really get to see that often. And now here's Ms. Sasser about her plans over the break. How high have you flown your hot air balloon? So I have gone to 5,280 feet that I flew it myself. Um, I was actually in a balloon and we actually went to 11,000 feet above sea level, which is a little bit different. We were out in Albuquerque and we were starting at 5,000 feet because it's in the mountains, but we flew to 11,000 feet above sea level. So how much does a hot air balloon actually cost? So a hot air balloon is kind of like buying a car. You can get a used car for a couple thousand dollars and you can get a used hot air balloon for a couple thousand dollars. Uh, if you want a customized balloon, it's kind of like getting a customized car and it can run you fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. So it just kind of depends on what you can afford and what you're looking for. 
How many people can you fit in your hot air balloon? In my balloon, I can fit three passengers and a pilot. As long as we don't exceed 1,600 pounds, we're good to go. But they have other baskets that can fit like 20 people in them. Um, and those are huge ride balloons that you usually see in New Mexico and Colorado and like overseas. So it just kind of depends. Again, kind of like a car, you can fit lots of people or little people in there. That's all for our Christmas break travelers. That's all for this week's update. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.